Industrial plants and mills provide great jobs for so many people in our area, but there can also be dangers if you're not careful. David Green from Green and Phillips is here to talk about the steps you should take if you or a family member is involved in an industrial accident. David, good to see you as always. Good to see you. All right, an important topic it applies to Absolutely. a lot of people in our area. What actually constitutes an industrial accident? You know, uh, anytime someone is injured in industrial type settings, my father was a paper mill worker for over 42 years, and so I heard him come home many times talking about, you know, this guy was hurt, this lady was hurt, and, and people just really don't know what to do. Generally, workers that are in the plants don't really understand exactly what they should do. They need guidance for folks. I mean, sometimes folks understand what to do, but generally yeah. folks need guidance to understand what the process is. Number one, if you're injured on the job, report it to your boss. Make sure you fill out the first report of injury. Make sure that is filed and handled. Secondly, make sure you, treat, you get medical treatment, seek medical treatment that you need, and then thirdly, talk to a personal injury lawyer who understands this type of case or handles this type of case because it can be very complicated. You can have workers' compensation, you can have third-party liability, and you can have very, very catastrophic injuries. So I think some of those steps you were talking about there are things that people should do regardless because I think a lot of folks don't know if they have a potential industrial accident case, and maybe they really don't know unless they go through all those steps? Well, just it's very just it's very important to understand if you are hurt on the job, you need to go ahead and report it to your boss. No matter if it's a slip and fall, a cut, a, a, a torn shoulder, a back injury. Back injuries can be very severe as we know. I've got one of my law partners right now is down in his back. He mm. actually was a sporting type, type accident, but you, you want to make sure that you take care of yourself, make sure you report it because down the road if you have a problem and you've not reported it, workers' comp's not going to cover it. The insurance company is going to say, well, you had a gap in treatment. And so we need to make sure we play by the rules and we're fair, but make sure you're fair with yourself. And is there a certain type of lawyer that can help you through an industrial accident case? Well, actually there is. And you need to talk to a personal injury law firm like Green and Phillips. There are many other local firms like ours that handle this type of case locally here in the Mobile area and in surrounding areas. But you need to talk to a personal injury lawyer that handles this type of case. Ask the question, have you handled an industrial type case? Mm -hmm. You know, we've handled industrial death cases. We've had huge verdicts, huge settlements. Um, we've, we've resolved cases for many years over 23 years now, but we have lawyers on staff that handle this type of case that understand it, that can explain it to you so you understand what your rights are. Yeah, and at the core of a huge case or a huge verdict, of course, is the goal is to help the people who have gone through this. Absolutely. Yeah. The worker deserves to be taken care of just as the employer. Many times people think, well, I'm a worker, just like my father. He's an hourly paid worker at International Paper, and he always said, I'm, a, I'm an hourly paid worker. I get paid for my job. I don't want to rock the boat. The fact is, many times folks like Dad get taken advantage of, and that's one of the reasons that I do what I do. So if any of you out there has some questions you want to reach out, how can they contact y'all at Green and Phillips if they'd like to talk to you? It's very simple. You can come by 51 North Florida Street. You never need an appointment at Green and Phillips, or you can call us at 300-2000. All right, sounds good. David, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me over.